special edition of Ask Meg. Now I've been teasing this episode for a couple of weeks and with good reason! You may have seen that I was recently featured in a video for Guild Wars 2 where I basically dressed up as a Tyrion resident and drove people around in a cab that was decked out with hidden cameras. It was really really fun to do. I actually had to stay in character the whole time which was very different and new for me but I had a lot of fun. And I got to wear this beautiful costume they made for me and they actually let me keep it. So you can expect that I will probably be wearing that costume to upcoming conventions. So you're probably asking why I said this video was so special. Well the fine folks over at Guild Wars 2 have actually given me copies of the game to give to every person who gets a question on this week's Ask Meg. Whee! If you hear a question featured on this week's Ask Meg, hang tight, we'll be sending a message to your YouTube inbox and then you'll be getting a copy of Guild Wars 2. I'm gonna try and keep the answer sort of short this week so I can get as many people as possible. Fox R asks, do you think that every person should be allowed to change their name once without question as nobody chooses their own name? So I shared once on Table Talk that I actually had the opportunity to change my entire name if I wanted to when I was a kid. And while it would have been cool to change my name, I, I don't know. I'm glad I still have the name my parents gave me. There's always a story behind why they named you what they named you, even if it's not the coolest story. For instance, I think I was supposed to be named something like Brittany or Bridget or something, but my dad protested. Thanks, Dad. So I ended up with the name Meg, and although I wanted to change it to Roxy as a kid, I like it. Chris M. Skibby says, Who do you think would be best to play you if a biopic was being made of you? I'd probably pick Anna Kendrick because I think she's really, really cute and she's a great actress. She just has that quality that makes you want to watch her, and I really like seeing her in movies. Vicente Trevino says, Do you know about Akon in Dallas? If you do, are you gonna be there? I I do know about Akon. Akon was actually one of my first big anime conventions I ever attended as a kid and I absolutely loved it. The problem with attending different conventions is that unless I'm a guest, it's hard to get the time away and actually go and attend. So if you want to see me at one of your local conventions, you can always let the convention organizers know and if they invite me as a guest, I'm totally there. Having said that, thank you so much to everyone who's already requested me as a guest. I actually have a handful of conventions already booked for next year and I'll be sharing those with you guys soon. Matt Griffin says, but. Mm. Oh yeah! Was that creepy? Psychotic Saito says, which food do you look most forward to eating or cooking for Thanksgiving? I have like a weird, unhealthy obsession with green bean casserole. I make it all year round. If you're having a dinner and you want me to bring a dish, it's gonna be green bean casserole. No one else will probably eat it, but I will and it'll be delicious. You may recall that in the Thanksgiving video I did with Trisha last year, the biggest dish on the table was green bean casserole and that was not a mistake. It was delicious. At Thomas Vista says, will we be able to play against you, Meg, on Steam when you finish your PC? Absolutely! That's actually one of the reasons that I love the idea of giving away copies of Guild Wars 2. Not only because I totally want to reward you guys for listening to me ramble all the time, but also because I want to have lots of different games to play with you guys. So hopefully this will help get a group together so when my PC is done, we can hit the streets of Tyria. At DamienBird3 says, what's your pick for Game of the Year 2013 and why? Now while I think Last of Us will probably take home every award under the sun this year, and it totally deserves it, I have to say that my Game of the Year this year is Bioshock Infinite. I'm such a big fan of the Bioshock series anyway, and I thought Bioshock Infinite perfected everything that was wrong with Bioshock 1, with the clunky controls and all of that, and I loved it. On top of that, I think Burial at Sea was pretty friggin' good, regardless of what everybody else seemed to think, and I think it should take home Game of the Year. Having said all that, it's gonna be The Last of Us and it deserves it. I absolutely love that game. I cried and I wanna know what happened to Joel and Ellie and I cannot wait to visit them again. All right, everyone, that's it for this very special edition of Ask Meg. Congrats to everybody who got one of their questions on this episode and therefore just won a copy of Guild Wars 2. Thank you to the Guild Wars team for providing those copies and I will see you guys next time. Bye.